hey guys, here's a reality that needs to be said in the way that it needs to be said. Cancer is catching. What is cancer? Well, it is the fact that the viruses that you've been exposed to through casual as well as sexual contact, contact finally come to surface, exploit the weaknesses of your body, and then now your body is breaking down at an exponential level to where you now have to go get medical intervention. And you cannot prevent pathogens. When you shake somebody's hand, when you go in any type of public environment, when you uh, travel to foreign countries, guess what you're picking up along the way? You're picking up viruses. You're picking up pathogens. You're picking up parasites. And viruses are a form of a parasite. And so if you don't get your body well balanced with the right minerals, with the right electrolytes, with the right um, probiotics, with the right nutrition, hey, Kathy, guess what? Your body is going to start being communicable. It's going to break down. You're going to be coughing. You'll be going to the hospital. You'll be dealing with your cancer. And then you're going to be spreading all of your germs around to everybody around you. Now, I know some of you are dealing with cancer, and I get it. I'm not saying anything bad. But this is a reality that we must understand. We can help that um, we received information from the system that had us get to this point where now we have to take chemotherapy or other things. We know we, we can't help that. Now we have new information. Okay, we have new information, but we have to see now the reality of this. People have, people have friends and family that they're married to that are suffering from pancreatic cancer. There's people out there in the environment, out there in your community that have all of these different viruses in their body. And when they get sick and they, they acquire a, um, a virus or a flu, which is a virus or anything, and they're coughing and everything, They've now passed it around to other people who will then take it on on their weak system. It's going to upset the homeostasis. It's going to then upload the data, all of the um, the corrupted programming. It's going to then uh, corrupt your body with this data and cause mutations. And so when you are taking care of a cancer patient and you're not well balanced yourself, guess what? You're going to be taking on those viruses that will exploit the weaknesses in your body. How many of you have been around people in hospitals, have taken care of somebody who's been very, very terminally ill? Okay, how many of you have done that? How many of you have taken on these, these viruses and don't even know it? Just like they said, like, you know, obesity can be catching too because it's a type of virus that then, the adenovirus, that then uh, messes with your hormones and causes obesity. You see, we, you know, yesterday when I was at the, at, the, the, at the airport, I knew I was being exposed to it all. I mean, I had food at the airport. It was made by people from different countries, from different regions. I don't know if they washed their hands. When somebody coughs, yeah, they may be like, <clears throat> but, you know, the, the germs get out. You don't live in a bubble. You're catching everybody's stuff. And then your body that is weak, these viruses, these things will exploit the weaknesses in your system. This is what cancer is. Now, candida, when you have an overabundance of candida, that will then create and foster the environment for those viruses to replicate. And when those viruses find the weakness in your body, and we've, we've known that trauma creates the weaknesses for these cancers, for these viruses to exploit. And then this is where cancer comes in. So if you're taking care of a cancer patient, you better have a very well-balanced system because you're going to be catching that too. And based upon your biochemistry, it may happen sooner or it may happen later. Or not at all. So I know, I mean, it sounds very like morbid to say that cancer is catching. 
but it is because cancer is viruses exploited the weaknesses of your body and viruses are communicable. Some are a bit harder because it's only with bodily fluids, but others are respiratory. I mean, people get these types of viruses that are in the air that do then take up residence and then exploit the weaknesses and then and then it fosters more in an environment to then when you do finally get with somebody that has more aggressive viruses that are only transmittable through bodily fluids, then now you've taken that on. Much like with having sex, HPV, herpes, there's, there's like really aggressive forms and there's very mild forms. And then we have children that are then taking on those antibodies, those viruses too. And this is why we have children born with diseases and mutations because they've taken on the program and taken on the viruses the parents carried and never really purged out. And then the kid is in adopting the, um, the lifestyle of the parents. And then, yeah, the child, like people who have kids that have fibromyalgia, people who have kids that have um, lupus, it's already in the kid's system. It's just a matter of time when it's gonna come to surface because there's already weaknesses in your child. And so you can see the future of any children out there that, that don't have a well-balanced system. When you look at the parent, you see exactly what's in the future for that child. Because mutations and weaknesses and things and strengths do get passed down from generation to generation. That is family medical history. And then when you're exposed to people who have all these different viruses and you already have weaknesses in your body, guess what? Those viruses will exploit your body based upon how well you take care of it or not take care of it. So in essence, what it really comes down to is cancer is catching. Yeah, you can put a thing over your nose when you walk through a hospital. It doesn't matter. You go out, you go out in society, go to a movie theater, go to a restaurant, go to a club. The dating sites. You will be exposed to so many viruses and things that will exploit the weaknesses in your body. So what do you got to do? You can't prevent pathogens. Obviously, you don't live in a bubble yet again. So now you have to understand how the elements work. Now you have to understand the role of the right probiotics. You have to understand the right of the right, the role of the right nutrition, the role of the right electrolytes or electrolytes in, in general. And realize that nobody is immune to the potential of cancer, disease, and chronic illness if they don't get their body well balanced. Because I knew yesterday when my nose was like totally like stuffed up, I was exposed to a lot of viruses. Who knows what was in that blanket? Not saying that the blanket was like had all this. I mean, I was thinking about like, you know, like, oh, I had this blanket was over my head because that's why I was sleeping on the couch in the Dallas Fort Worth airport. I'm thinking like, is there smallpox in this blanket? What, are, what is this airport trying to do? Kill off their passengers? And I was thinking all these things. I was thinking like the, the, the Trail of Tears and and the Cherokee Indians and then the, the soldiers giving the these disease-laden blankets to the Indians. And I'm thinking like, God, what was in this blanket? Then I'm thinking like, you know, whatever, regardless of what was in that blanket, I was exposed to so many thousands and thousands of people. Well, hundreds, I won't say thousands, hundreds. But I mean, I'm sitting and talking to them. I'm on these different, you know, chairs and the terminals, touching stuff, biting my nails occasionally, eating food from people that, that, that may or may not wash their hands, somebody coughing here, you know. So I knew I was exposed to all these different things and my nose knew it too. So I had to really blow my nose yesterday, really blow it to get all of that antigen out that my body was able to filter out and get caught up in the mucus. And I blew that mucus out and then everything was great. My body jumped right back to what it was supposed to be. Now, if I were to snark up and swallow all that mucus and then drink a bunch of, you know, bad food or whatever, I possibly could have taken on some virus, but then my body would have been probably found a way to like cough it out. Or I'd get like, you know, more, you know, my nose would be running. Okay, so you guys get your body so well balanced that you, when you're exposed to any pathogens, your filtration system will work that quick and you won't sustain a major mutation because of your exposure that you really had no choice over because you can't prevent pathogens. You don't live in a bubble. You live in a society of people who you don't know their medical history. We're not wearing our titer test results on our forehead so we know what it is we're exposed to. 
So you just have to assume that everybody's pathogenic. So you might as well get your system well balanced. If not, then yeah, those viruses will exploit the weaknesses. And then this is why we have cancer disease and chronic illness and aging in our society. So choice is yours. Talk to you guys later.